Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to create and use a structure in MATLAB. Firstly I will discuss the basic idea of a structure and how to create it and later I will show you how to do it in a dynamic way which means we will write a little program which will create and fulfill our structures in a multi-level way. Okay, so let's get started. Uh -huh. To create a structure I need to use a function struct. Okay, so I create some variable, call the function struct, and then I create my structure by creating a fields and assign some value to this field, for example, 12, and then Okay, so as you can see here, the structures do not have any uh, constraints about the type of data, which means I can uh, I can store uh, different types of data in a one structure. In this case, it is a double and it is a string, and also can store another structure in my structure. This is a multi-level uh, idea, and it is. Uh, often used and very useful. So for now we can uh, create another field okay, and we can use this uh, feature that the functions in MATLAB as well as in a different uh, languages, programming languages, are called from inside to outside. So I can call the struct function again Okay, and now I will create another structure which will be inside of this structure on the field 3. Okay, so uh, let's get start. So, field, it's also a name, okay, and some value, for example, 1. And another subfield. Okay. And another value. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a, a little mistake. I should uh, do it in like this. Yeah, okay. So now we have our structure and as you can see we, we now see only this first level. I mean we see one structure with three fields and the single field and the single field, the third field is this one which contain another structure. Okay, the most important difference between structures and the cell arrays is that in case of structure we refer to a field by its name, no by, not by its index. In other words, the fields in the structure aren't indexed. Okay, so when I want to refer to some value in this structure, I do it in that way. I call my structure by its name, then I use a dot, and I call a field by its name. So, first field is called field, and I have answer 12, which is the value in this field. Okay, and then second field is field 2, isn't actually a second, it's another because they are not index it. Okay. Field, oh sorry, I call it field 1. So there is a string as you can see here and when I call, when I call field 3 I can also see a structure there. Okay, so when I want to refer to this value 
on this deeper level of this structure, I need to do it in like this. So I refer to my structure, which is in the field three, and then I refer to sub field, okay. And now I have the value on this field. Nice. If I, if I want to uh, write something, to put something on this field, I need to put my structure on the left side of the assign operator because now in this uh, in this particular syntax my structure is on the right uh, side of is, is on the left yeah is on the uh, is on the right side of the sign operator why it's not uh, it's not clear here because I do not uh, make any variable and because of it MATLAB make itself a default variable called ans okay but when i make some variable then the value which is uh, which is uh, returned from this will be assigned to the this uh, variable okay what you can which you can see now here okay but if i would like to put data to my structure of course I need to put the structure on the left side of the sign operator and I do it in this way okay and now I put some other number to this uh, field but I didn't put a semicolon here so you can see the effect on the screen but the effect we can see here is only the first level of this structure which means I do not I can't actually observe my uh, my assignment result because I don't see a deeper level I can only see that on the third field this field is a structure there okay so if I want to see it I need to refer to it and now I can see the number in here okay and when I re refer to uh, the third field I will see all the structure here okay so those are the basic informations about creating uh, the structures and how to uh, refer to the elements and now let's start with this uh, another topic I mean a dynamical uh, way of creating uh, structures okay okay but first I will also want to show you uh, the function I will uh, use. So the function is called horse cut, or um, it takes its name uh, from horizontal concatenation, and it works like this. I'm sorry. I would like to show you that it uh, glue two strings. So it concatenate two strings or two other objects which are the same type of course so i will use it to uh, create in a dynamical way the names of my structures field okay so let's start uh, it's a good idea to always make some comment on the top of your uh, script uh, it is helpful if you have a lot of scripts so I clear the workspace, clear also the uh, command line and start work. Okay, so I need some uh, some vector, for example, from one with step one to five, for example. The vector is needed only for uh, uh, presentation purposes because I need to have some, uh, some vector to go through it with my loop. Okay, so for k equal 1, step 1, to max size of x, this is a, this is a syntax which provides that the a loop will be, will be performed for each element of this uh, x, ok. And what is my intention now? I would like to create a structure. Uh, two level structure so 
in the first structure I will have five structures and each of those five structures will have five fields. This is a mighty level construction which is uh, useful especially when you deal with a lot of data which is uh, some uh, common thing uh, when you when you work with with data with matlab so it will be useful but for now uh, let's learn how to do it so for this construction i need another for loop for j one step one two max size of x okay and inside this loop i uh, start to create my structure but the deeper level structure okay i will call it a star and now i use the parenthesis and the horse cut functionality okay and now i would like to create the name of my sub field so the field in this structure on the second level subfield name okay and then I would like to uh, concatenate this string with a number to create a unique name and the number will be get it from this counter here but the counter is a type double because it's a number so I need to convert this number into a string format so I use the num to string function okay and the counter nice and I would like to assign something to this field for example j times k which are the counters it will be readable for us okay and now I would like to create another structure main structure it is the first level okay I'm sorry and also use the same syntax of horse cut function create the field name okay and also the conversion and use the and I use the K which is the counter in the outer loop okay so I have the field and to this field I need to assign my structure this is the structure which was created here in the inner loop nice so let's run it and as you can see the structures were made and they are here okay one thing that you can notice that I nowhere in this little code I nowhere I didn't call a struct function in a, in a clear way this is because you do not need to do it actually you can just use this syntax with a dot and MATLAB will already know that your intention is to create a structure but this is less readable so I show it now and not earlier okay so let's look to our main structure and you can see that we have five structures there is a five fields which on each of these fields are another structures okay so when I choose first field I have a structures which have structure which have five fields and those are the numbers okay and as you can expect when I go to this structure there are another numbers and so on okay thank you this is all for this video I hope you find it interesting and useful if so please give the thumbs up and subscribe my channel see you soon when I show you a different uh, different videos about programming in MATLAB, especially objective oriented programming, which is really useful to deal with uh, bigger sets of data. And I will also provide some videos about how to load uh, big files of data to MATLAB. Okay, so see you soon.